Yeah, bro. We yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. All right, you too, man. Talk. All right, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. That's that's a hey. Yeah. Life is beautiful, man. You got to find your your purpose or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when, you, when you wake up every morning, that's a blessing, man. So you got to find the best in it, yeah. and that kind of leads us into it. Like, everything just tying in, and you know, everything on God's accord. I got in the studio right now. We're gonna set up. We're gonna we're gonna set the stage for our next program, right? Uh, choices, man. You gotta make choices when you're young. You gotta be real important to make good choices, right? And sometimes it's kind of you know being young. You just do things that young people do, right? You do things different when you're 15 than, than you are when you're 55. Uh, but college football, man, it's a multi-million dollar business. First of all. And so I have Mrs. LaCurtis Jones back number 44, Waco High, Baylor, NFL player. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, good morning. Good bless morning. And uh, Curtis always had one thing I'm impressed about Curtis, he always had something to say, man, some positive stuff. And he's always out there doing his praise dance and uh, giving God all the praise. But he wanted to come in. We're going to set it up because I know we got, we got about five minutes, right? But I want to set the stage for the next program we're going to have. It's about making choices. But run us down what's on your mind, buddy. Hey, uh, um... That was uh man, God bless you, brother. Just uh just uh I was live on, on, on radio a few minutes ago. Uh don't give up on your dreams, man. I, I believe I heard him say he did a little time, yeah. I did a little time myself. But I just want to talk to these young cats that's uh in you know, high school and growing up. Uh, watch what you do, man. Uh even because uh you need to do the right thing. Listen to or first obey your, your parents and then obey your teachers and do your own school work, do your homework. Do your work in school, in, in high school, to get you set up to go to college. Take the ACT test early so you can get in without no problems. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm, 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 I'm dealing with some things right now that if I would have handled these things when I was younger, uh, uh, I wouldn't have these problems at age 49 trying to go back to uni uh, Baylor University to get my degree. I'm going to let you know right now, I love Waco High and I love Baylor University. I bleed those schools because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. But right now, I believe both of the schools are kind of holding me for the, some things that I did in the past. Everyone gets in trouble. I mean, not, I mean, not everyone, but most of us get in, in a little trouble, but we have to learn. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been, I got incarcerated, you know, for uh, some things I got into, some trouble I got into, but I, I pay, I paid my dues. Uh, I, uh, uh, I, I learned from what I, I did and I didn't return back to the prison system because I'm going to type it. It's called a correction center. Just take them words, correction. You, I went to prison to correct the areas that I went to prison for. That was thieving. And I had a little, little couple of little violence in me that, uh, you know, there's some of the stuff that was made up that I did to the person, but it's all good. You know, I, I, I thank God for sending me to prison. But now I want to go back and get my degree. Uh, I feel like, you know, I'm not in the Hall of Fame at Waco High. No, I'm not in the Hall of Fame at Baylor University. That kind of irks me because there's a lot of people that, that's been in, 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 in introduced into the Hall of Fame that, that weren't even close to being what I did. You know, I started at, at Waco High as a sophomore. That's very rare to do. And uh, uh, still not in Hall of Fame. Here I am at Baylor. I got two Southwest Conference up under me. All Southwest Conference first team. And I could have had three years if I wouldn't have broke my arm. I'm not mentioning the Hall of Fame at all. My pitch is not even in a new stadium. That hurts me. Now, I live right down the street from the school, from the stadium. And not a pitch of LaCurtis Jones is not put up because of the things I done got into. I asked Baylor <laughs> University could I go back and get my degree. And uh, they went all the way back into the trouble I got into, which happened eight years ago. I mean, I heard that seven years, you know, you're supposed to let things go. But this happened eight years ago. I learned from what I did. I've been out of out of prison, you know, out of incarceration for seven years and seven or plus years. And I haven't gotten into no trouble. I've been out here doing what I'm supposed to do, you know, for the community, praise, dancing. I got Jesus Christ on my side. I'm up here trying to do positive things in my life, and they still not let me come back and get my degree. Yeah, but see, I, I'm a strong believer, man. Like when you go, and I know that prison system is all it's, it's, it's construed right now, right? Because I feel when a person goes, they pay the debt to society, they should be forgiven. Right. Because why you, you, you incarcerate a person? Because there's a lot of people that come out that they kind of got a, 
a stick and black ball, pretty much, basically. Right. And I've, I've seen so where people come out and they find a way to get a job and to, to support the family so they won't go back to doing what they were doing before. But for the most part, most of those guys that come out, they just, they got a, an X on their back. They got a mark on their right. and, and you shouldn't hold stuff against somebody. Because we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. I made a whole lot of mistakes when I was right. younger, right? But I don't right. do the things I did when I was 20, 21. I am at the age 50, learning and growing. Right. Uh, and do you think that has so... Now with the Baylor, you try you're trying to go back and get your degree, right? Yes, I was I was told I was I was told by the, the athletic director here if I go back get my degree, they will uh you know hire me on to the Waco High coaches, you know, so get us back on the winning system because I feel by me being by by anyone that's been there that done that, you know, that's yeah. been to the college level, has been to the pros. And then, you know, they see if the if the athletes see a person or a coach like that on a team, you know, on a team that's been there, done that, that'll bring more of our kids back to Waco High and get us back on the winning on a winning level. Because I'm not used to this this losing yeah. like we doing at Waco so, High. So with Baylor, what's what's the so is that still and are they are they gonna let you come back? Well no, they told me no. They 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 actually told me no, they was not gonna let me come back. They had me go get my police report. <laughs> I did everything they told me to do. They said I lied on the application, which I, I didn't lie. I might have went through it real quick, and they said I, I checked. I was never arrested or co- uh, being incarcerated. I don't you know remember what, that. Man, I was talking to uh, one of my friends other day about that that whole felony deal. It's kind of like it's like you're damn if you do, damn if you don't. Yeah. I've, I've talked to people before, right? They, when they got out, they wanted to go on that one little piece of the application where they asked, have you ever been a convicted of a felony? Right. right. I've had guys that, that click yes, they still got denied. I've had guys that say they did click yes because they, you know, they know if they click it. Yeah. So they did click this, they still, put, they can pull it up anyway. Right. So it's kind of like one of those deals. It's like, so where do you draw the line? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's I mean, Oh, I don't, I don't, it, it hurts me because, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I did a lot for Baylor, and I'm from Waco. I feel like I should, my picture should be somewhere on campus, somewhere, especially in a football stadium. Act like they really don't know me. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Baylor University act like they really don't know me. That's why I'm trying to speak to these young kids right, right now. Watch what you do as a youngster in high school. Get your, get your degree. Whatever school you choose, make sure it's a good school. I mean, Baylor, back in the day, they loved me. Baylor love me. You know what I'm saying? I love them. As long as you playing, they're going to do whatever they can for you. But once you gone, it's, it's, oh my God, it's like, you don't know what's, it, it's like, it, it, I've never been to Baylor before. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to do whatever I can. Lord Jesus Christ is with me. I got my beautiful wife to help me. And we all, we're going to get this degree some kind of way. And, uh, and coach, I mean, one of the coaches just told me that, that I may not be able to get uh, be on the coaching uh, be on the coach team because of my trucks. I mean, I paid my paid my debt to my society. I mean, why is it they they punish me and I'm up here trying to do right? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna continue to do right. Well, you know, say, you I'm gonna continue because I'm gonna ex something. Man. We all are ex something in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna ex con. You know, I'm gonna ex. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. But but do my best. To go forward, I mean, it tried to bring me down. My wife said, you know, baby, don't let that bring you down. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, just keep on going because it, it, it's, it's God going to make it a way. Yeah. He's going to make it. If they won't let me coach, somebody will let me coach. Yeah. Because that, that NCAA is a multi-million dollar business, number one. So it's very important when these, and we can kind of relate that from, from your experience to now. Because first of all, I got to make good Good decision, right? Because if you come back right. along, it, yeah. it, it, you know, kind of affect it to get older or whatever. But when you go to these programs, these colleges, you got to yeah. remember they're making, yeah, they making money. I'm gonna tell you, 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 where you, you whatever, you, wherever you're going, they gonna look at your past. No yeah. matter how young you are, they gonna go way back in your past and see what did you do wrong. You know, they look for the wrong things, so they gonna veer away from you. You know what I'm saying? But so y'all make the right decision out there, young 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 fellas and young ladies. Make the right decision because whatever you do is gonna fall in your past. I'm 40, like I said, I'm 49 years old, trying to get my degree. I don't want y'all to fall into the same footsteps I fa- I'm falling into right now because it's a battle for me. You know what I'm saying? I've been through it. I've been there, been there, and I've been through it in life. But I thank Lord Jesus for being by my side to keep me going. And I'm not going to stop. Uh, don't stop, man, because you're still here. You know, we, you're here for a reason. Right? Right. We, let's wake up this morning. You know, to, Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is not even promised. So we got to live. Right. So, right. so I want to thank you for coming on. And 
uh, uh, Barbara G for coming on sharing the testimony because yeah. I'm pretty sure somebody's hearing that yes. they can take that and run with it. You know Y'all saying? take these testimonies and use them, man. Yeah. Real talk. Listen to what we're saying and, and, and just do what we say, man, because we've been there, we've done that. You don't want to go to prison. You don't want to get in no trouble because it's going to follow you. Yeah, they always say, man, the stuff come back on you, right? Uh, but you got to listen to people that have been through it, you know, take heed to what they're saying. That's why I like sitting around a lot of older gentlemen because I learned so much, right? So yeah. I want to thank you. going to bring you back. Yeah. Like I said, the hour kind of runs through yeah. pretty quickly, man, but that's a good thing to say. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Uh, we'll be back here next week. We're going to just a little bit over. We'll be back next week. Yeah, Sickle Bears. Yeah, Sickle uh, Bears. Uh, get there to the championship. Uh, yeah. what's, what's, what's your prediction real quick? I, I want them going to win. Cause I feel if they win, I believe they it might it might be the first ten and two team in the playoffs. Man, Baylor shouldn't have lost the game. They 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 lost. Yeah, to be honest, should they should be undefeated right now. Then right they won't have this problem. Alabama lose one game against an unranked A and M team. They barely move out the after after ranking. I mean, out the top five. Oh man, man, I like that preview. I didn't know. Man, yeah, we get get the Sanders team. Yeah. All right, we'll see you back here next week. 94.5 to beat us. We only do what we can do. Appreciate you. That was good. Well, once once I watch that, I got to get.